Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my Russian roulette machine. Now, the other day I did a video on my Hopper Randomizer, and this is one of the builds I created with the Hopper Randomizer, and a lot of people asked me to do a tutorial on it. So pretty much all you do is come in here, and now we have a one in three chance that we might die. Now, if you don't know what one in three chance means, then that means we have a 33.33% chance that we might die. So we click this button, hopefully we don't die, and I die. First time I clicked the button, <laughs> and I died that kind of stinks right there let's try let's try this again <laughs> so click the button see I didn't die I didn't die I didn't die I, di I, I died <laughs> so it's pretty much it's just one in three chance that you might die now you can have it go up to a one in nine chance but I just made it so there's three items in here and this gold ingot right here is what activates the trap thus killing you so pretty much it's very simple guys it's just a pretty much so i'm gonna show you guys how to build the randomizer first and then obviously i'll show you how to do this little easy floor trap right here if you don't know how to build that right down here it's very easy to build so let's just get into this then guys all right guys so for the randomizer we're going to need a four by four spacing and we only we're only gonna have to dig down one for the randomizer itself when we get into the trap floor we're gonna have to dig down three but for the randomizer, what we're going to need is two droppers, seven hoppers, two redstone comparators, two redstone repeaters, six redstone dust, one redstone torch, one button. We're also going to need 24 of any item you want, and then just two of any regular item. Now, like I said, you can make it go from a one, in, you can have a one in two chance, or you can have it go up to a one in nine chance. You know, you can make it go really high so people have a really long time of dying, or you can make it so they could die pretty much every other time they click it. And then obviously, we're going to just need some blocks of choice. So let me just get these out real quick, like that. So, what we're going to start off by doing is putting in our droppers so take out your droppers once you got your four by four space and come to the bottom left and count over one one and then put a dropper facing upwards right here make sure it's a dropper and then on top of this dropper put another dropper facing upwards like that then coming off this top dropper right here we're going to put a block of choice like this with a button off this block so when we click this button this dropper should activate so as you can hear the dropper activated when i clicked the button right there beautiful next what we're going to do is come right back up here on the top of this dropper put a block right above it and put a block to the right delete the block right above the dropper and put a hopper going into the side of this block like that next what i want you to do is put another block right here next to this block going off towards the back delete this block and put another hopper going into this block then we're going to do it again right here put a block right here and then we're going to put delete this block and put a hopper going into this block like that next what we're going to do is going into the top of this dropper right here we're going to put a hopper going into it like this then we're going to go right above this hopper and put another hopper going into the bottom of this hopper now what this does is every time it lets up an item that's not going to activate our trap the item's going to travel to this hopper and go all the way around into this hopper and then just fall right back down into here and go into your dropper so pretty much the items that don't do anything just literally go up and around and then back into your dropper that's all they do up and around and then back into your dropper now we got to set up the items that are actually going to affect us and kill us so to set up the hoppers for the items that are going to kill us what we're going to do is pretty much just come right under this hopper right here you know what? let's go into this one right here and we're going to put a block right underneath this corner hopper like this and then under this one right next to the dropper we're going to put a hopper going this way into this block like that this is the items that are going to affect us and then right underneath this hopper we're going to put a hopper going into this dropper right here like that so what's going to happen is the items that don't affect us are going to go in around and back into a dropper not activating anything and then the items that are going to affect us are going to fall down into this hopper right here activating the comparator which is going to activate our trap then they're going to go down into this hopper going into this dropper and then back up into this dropper now i know that sounds like a lot guys but trust me it's not that hard it really isn't then what we're going to do is coming out of this hopper right here we're going to put a block up next to this one and then coming out of the middle hopper right here we're going to put a comparator going this way put a block in front of your comparator like that delete this block right here put two pieces of redstone dust like this delete down the one block right here this is the only block we're going to have to delete down put a repeater going this way and then on top of this block we're going to put a torch right here this is going to lock this hopper right here so your items don't keep funneling down into this one now people always say that to me they say my items keep funneling then you didn't lock it you didn't lock the hopper <laughs> that's what happens when you don't lock your hopper the items just keep funneling down next we're going to do is pick out our 24 items so just take out any 24 items and into this middle hopper right here that the comparator is coming out of we're going to put all our items in here so go one two three four and then in this last one we're going to put our 20 items which should activate it and that item should go down into this dropper right here 
obviously we don't want our items staying in this bottom dropper right here so next what we're going to do is coming out of this dropper we're going to put a comparator going this way like that as you see the comparator came on because there's an item inside this dropper at the moment next we're going to put a repeater coming out of this comparator put a block in front of the repeater put a block next to this dropper and then we're going to swing some redstone dust going all the way over to here this will push the item up into this dropper as you see now the items up in this dropper next all you have to do is just add as many more items as you want so now we have one item that's going to pretty much affect our build which is going to activate a trap now like i said you every time you add one that means right now we have a hundred percent chance we're going to die if we add another item now we have a 50 percent 50 percent chance we're going to die if we add another item now we have a 33.33 percent chance we're going to die if i add another one it's going to be 25 percent 20 percent so on and so forth i like the 33 percent chance because i don't know I, I just like that one so if i click the button if this redstone dust comes on that means we're going to die right there see i would have died right there <laughs> click the button again we didn't die click the button again we didn't die click the button again we died see it's just it's just those low percent chance that you might die or you might you, you you will die or you might not die you know it's just random random that you might die <laughs> so now we're going to set up the trap the floor trap if you don't know how to build one of those it's pretty simple so i'm just going to fill in the rest of this walling right here and then right here is where our floor trap is going to be going so let's start doing that all right guys so for the floor trap we're going to need eight sticky pistons 10 redstone repeaters one redstone torch 26 redstone dust and some blocks just to put our stuff down on so right here where the button is we're going to dig out this two area right here and this two area right here now as you can see i already dug out the area we're going to need for our floor trap but as long as you just follow along guys we should be fine so we're pretty much going to be starting from these you know what? let me change the color real quick just so we know where we're starting from so we're gonna pretty much just starting from these four blocks that we dug out in front of our button so i'm just gonna dig out this little area that i left closed for when i was doing the randomizer because i thought that would look ugly if i left this whole thing open there we go and let's open up this side right here there we go i don't think we're gonna need this area right here i think i just did that <laughs> so i wouldn't get uh, confused so as you can see right here is where the lava is gonna go and this is where we're gonna be falling down and the lava is going to kill us or you can have a pitfall the droppers to collect people's items after they get killed so on and so forth so what i want you to do is just skip a block from one of these four blocks over here and we're just gonna put four sticky pistons like that so it should look something like this and then do something do the same thing on this side just one two three four like that so it looks like that then we're gonna put two sticky pistons facing up here two sticky pistons facing up here and then put your block of choice right here this is going to be your flooring so you know choose your blocks wisely or whatever you want to do <laughs> and you know i'm going to change this color right here there we go that looks nicer <laughs> next we're going to do some redstone so what we're going to do is come to the back of these sticky pistons and we're going to come up four blocks like this and then we're going to put two repeaters going into these top sticky pistons on two ticks delay then going into the block right here see how there's four blocks that i left open right here we're going to put a line of redstone dust going from those all the way down to the back of these repeaters we're going to do the same thing over here guys so one two three four put two repeaters here on two ticks delay and then bring your redstone dust from the side of that sticky piston all the way around and all the way like that and just bring it all the way down to over there as well we're going to do the same thing on this side just bring it all the way down to over here so pretty much that's everything so we pretty much just hooked up our entire thing so if i put two repeaters like this and put some redstone dust here i will activate my trap see how it went up fine like that and then if i delete this torch right here it opens up and kills us so i'll do it again put it there closes delete the torch opens up and kills us so actually what i want you to do is right here underneath your uh randomizer i actually want you to have these two repeaters here so put those two repeaters there and just leave them there and we're going to come back to those later so now all we have to do is just hook up this area right here so now all we need to do is just hook up this area right here down to here but we do need a pulse extender so what we're going to do is right off this dust we're going to come down a block and then we're going to put redstone dust here come down two blocks here one two oh i just deleted too much <laughs> come down uh two blocks here and then put redstone dust there and then we're going to come down three blocks here one two three and put redstone dust like that then coming out from underneath this block that this redstone dust is you know what? let me open this up a little bit more there we go next what i want you to do is come underneath this block right here we're going to put a repeater right here on one tick delay and then coming out of this redstone dust we're going to put a repeater on four ticks delay right now we're going to make a pulse extender so this opens up long enough to kill your friends or kill whoever <laughs> what kind of mini game is it without killing somebody <laughs> next what i want you to do is coming out of this one tick delay repeater we're going to put some redstone dust here and then put another repeater right here on one tick delay then in front of this four tick delay repeater we're going to put a block and then put another four tick delay repeater coming out of this block with redstone dust coming out of that put a block in front of your one tick delay repeater right here put redstone dust on top of it then coming off this block we're going to put a torch and we're going to put some redstone dust right here as well and now that will activate our trap so now if i click the button hopefully it'll kill us nope click the button 
He died, opens up, and kills us. See how it killed me there? <laughs> Click the button. It killed us again. So now you can pretty much do whatever you want down there. You can just come down here, remove this torch, and then add whatever trap you want down. You can have a pitfall in the hopper, so when the person dies, you get to collect his items. Or you can do what I just did and just dig down two more blocks like this. And you can go ahead and put some redstone dust here. I mean, yeah, redstone dust. We could put, go ahead and put some lava here. There we go. Take out the lava bucket. And we're just going to place some lava in there like that. So now we're going to go back over here. Place our torch back over here like that. It's working fine. So now we can just clean up this area. It doesn't have to look disgusting anymore. Like, And now we can go ahead and kill ourselves. <laughs> so we click the button. Am I going to live? I lived. Click the button. Am I going to live? I lived. <laughs> Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> so there we go. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, there we go. So like I said, you can make it uh, whatever chance you want. You know, right now it's a one in three chance I might die. If you want to make it higher so people don't die as often, you can add more uh, items in here like this. You know, just add as many items as you want inside here. Make sure they're not stacked. And if you want people to die often, all you have to do is just take out enough items like this, like a one in a half a chance. That means 50% chance are going to die if you have two items in there. So there you guys go. That is how you build my Russian roulette system. You can ha you could pretty much add whatever trap you want to add. You don't have to have a pitfall. I mean, you can have arrows attack you. You can also set it up my randomizer over here. See how my randomizer is like this? You could set up the randomizer so every time they click the button, they can have nine different ways to die. You can make like a, a suicide booth or something like that. You know what? Maybe I'll do something on a suicide booth. All right, guys. So that's the entire video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.